Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. On this video, this is going to be the first video in a new series I'm going to be doing, which is basically going to be targeting and videos after saltwater panfish. Some smaller fish that people don't ever really think about. They're actually really good to eat. I mean, a lot of people when they talk about panfish, they talk about bluegill, crappie, warmouth, basically freshwater fish. But in saltwater, there's a ton of panfish and fish that are just as good as the brim and the crappie and are excellent in their own right. In this first video, we went and fished a little Port Orange Pier, and basically we just used little tiny pieces of shrimp, a little hook, and we're just gonna see what we could catch. So in this video, we caught some Maharas, which is a, a fish most people don't think about eating, which are actually pretty good. They're not a real big fish. Some of them do get kind of a little bit bigger than your hand, but the ones we caught in this video, about the size of my hand. And uh, we got a nice sea robin, which you guys know I love sea robin. And it's one of the most underrated fish out there. It is excellent. I don't know why people don't like it. But in this video, that's what we got. So check out these clips of us catching these few little pan fish. And then I'll see you guys at the cleaning table. Then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. And in this series, we're mainly going to be deep frying all the fish. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to be what we can cook whole, like the Maharas. We're going to scale and cook whole. The ribbon, uh, sea robin, we're going to fillet and cook. So that's basically what we're going to be doing in this series, and I'll create a playlist so all these videos will fit in that playlist, and they're all going to be a catch and cook kind of video. So I hope you guys like it, hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get to it. fishing we just started we're using a uh, little pieces of shrimp on a little number four hook little fish finder rig and we're just looking for some saltwater pan fish like some spade fish some puffer fish some maharas something along that line so we'll see how we do guys hey guys well I just caught a stone crab come here bro Actually, one claw is actually legal, but I'm not going to take it. A little stone crab. It's a nice little claw. Pretty thing. All right, guys, I'm out here. I'm all set up. I'm getting ready to fish, and I ran into just two subscribers. Whoa. And what's your name? Marco. Marco. This is Marco and Randy. They uh, seen the video I put out here. Uh, what two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. So they're out here fishing. Anybody catch anything? fish well we're gonna give it a shot hopefully we'll catch something and uh we'll get back to you guys so we got the first fish that we're looking for this is a mahara it's a little mahara Ooh. yeah you got a lot of spines a lot of spines watch out you got him okay let's see him they're real slimy get out <laughs> really slimy i got <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this is a Mahara. He's just about the almost too small, but we're gonna go ahead and keep him and try him. And this is what we're looking for, either Maharas or spade fish. Alright, we'll see what see what this thing tastes like. And she's got another right there. she's got another oh, Mahara. There's something right there. Alright. Summer's on fire, man. Something Summer is on fire. Oh man, these things will stick you. See how small their mouths are? They got tiny mouths, guys. Oh, let it go. We got them. Oh my god, you ripped his mouth There we go. There we go. I found the. Got another one. <laughs> so far, Summer's the only one that's caught anything. We'll see. We're getting one of the species that we were out here targeting, the Mahara. Nope, I just got took. Nope. Let's see, we'll catch like. See how many we can get real quick here. All right, guys. Well, as I was fishing, I ran into a subscriber. And what's your name, sir? 
Ron Hankey. Ron Hankey. Very nice to meet you, Ron. Nice to meet you and your family. I see you a lot on YouTube. Awesome. And I enjoy it. Thank you very much. Now, what was your you were asking a question? Uh, how we can get these bait fish to bite? We can't catch the bait fish like we used to. Yeah, what she's doing, well, you know, Summer, she has better luck than I do. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> she, has the touch. she has the touch. We're just using little pieces of shrimp on a number four hook, and that's actually that's all we're doing. Uh, we're actually going to eat these things, these maharas. We're going to try them. Oh, really? We'll do like a catch and cook video. We use those. They're really good snook bait. Real, snook bait. Oh, they snook love maharas. Yeah, you can get them all summer. This is the itty bitty puffer. What do you got, Summer? There's a sheep. Reel it up, Summer. It's on your line. Oh, wait, that's on my line. Oh, my God. That's yeah. a good sheep. That's, that's on your that's line. That's on your line. I'm like, oh, my God. That's a <laughs> big sheep. It's not illegal, but. John, there are old, like, monsters working out. Can you touch a puffer fish? Yeah, yeah. you can touch them. You just can't hold there it to me. A little sheepy Summer got. She didn't even know she had it. Yeah, I thought my line You see that little puffer? Oh. He's going to puff up on you. What's out? <laughs> He's puffing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try to get him to puff up. I'm gonna pull him when he's puffed up. He's trying to puff up. He's so soft. He's so small. Here, let him go. Don't let him bite you, though. Did he bite me? Yeah, he will bite you. He's cute. That's awesome. Oh, sea robin. You know, I like those things. I love sea robins. Awesome. I love sea robins. That is a good fish for me. Oh, you can open the cooler. I might have been what you had earlier too, babe. Instead of shaking his head real good. Jay Rockers, well, we got our, our pan fish for our first video here in this series. We got our nice little sea robin and we got two little maharas. So, we're going to get cleaning these guys real quick. All right, guys, well, the sea robins are really easy to clean, very easy. Basically, just come right here, go straight down, flip your knife over, and go down. You get a nice little piece of meat off this fish, and hemp meat is awesome. Such a good eating fish. I will never understand why these fish get such a bad rap. Never get it ever. All right. And they skin really easy too. Just like that. And the only amount of bones that you have on here is right here. Just like any other fish. that a little bit of pin bones and there you go nice little piece of fillet all right well we got our little mahara here and basically we're just gonna do it just like you would a bluegill in fresh water just gonna go ahead and scale it using a spoon we're gonna cook the whole fish and they scale really easy. Probably one of your easiest fish to scale, honestly. All right, well, I got it all scaled. No more scales on it. Nice and cleaned up. So basically, I'm just gonna come right here, underneath this little gill plate here. Crawl it through, and cut down. Flip it over. Go through here. Cut the head off. My knife through here, here was a little butthole is, and there you go. This ain't really the right knife to be doing this with, but it will work. You want to clean all this stuff out right here, guys. All this fat, 
right here. Clean this out real good. I'll go ahead and cut these off because I don't want them on there. All right, guys. Well, we got a nice little finished piece of fish right here. We'll just go ahead and throw this whole thing in the deep fryer. We're going to bread it up real nice, throw the whole thing in there. There's actually quite a bit of meat on there. It's kind of thick, so we'll see how it works out. It ain't no different than a, a hand-sized bluegill. So we'll see. Go ahead and get this other one cleaned. Here we go, guys. We got them all finished. We got our sea robin fillets. And we got our two whole maharas. So I will see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys. We're in the kitchen, and here's our fish. We got our two maharas and our uh, sea robin. I'm gonna go ahead and bread up the sea robin real quick, just like that. I'm just gonna do some simple fried fish. I'm using my house autry fish breading. And we're gonna take our whole mahara and bread it up real good. That guys looks nice. This is just real basic fish frying. You know, I grew up eating fish like this with my grandparents and my parents when we catch a bluegill or a crappie or warmouth back up in the St. John's or in the local lakes. This is how we mainly would eat fish whole like this. We're just doing a little twist on it. Just doing some salt water pan fish instead of some fresh water fish. So, all right, well I got them all breaded. So now we'll wait for the green light on the fryer and we'll get cooking. All right guys, well I got my green light on the fryer here. So we're gonna go ahead and put our maharas in. Just like that. Those cook for just a second, and we'll put our uh, sea robin in. And there we go. All right, man, it's looking good. All right, guys, well, they're looking pretty good. They're almost just about done. Give it another minute or so. Okay, guys, our well, fish are done. Salt on. All right, I can't wait to eat these. These look really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna plate these up, and I'll see you guys on the couch. Hi, right, Jody Rockers. We got our fried fish here. We got our sea robin. I'm gonna go ahead and try that first, which I already know it's good. I love sea robins. Here you go. That is fantastic, man. I don't get why people call this a trash fish. I really don't. If you try this fish, you will love this fish. I promise you. Man, that's fantastic. And bumps, bumps come right out. It's like that. Oh man, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. All right, let's pick a piece of this off real quick. Oh, it's hot. Very hot. Here's a Mahara. Ooh. Wow. That is a very mild fish. I mean, 
very mild. It's the first time I've eaten Mahara this way. Or I've eaten bigger versions of Mahara and filleted, and I liked them. You know, because they get they get fairly decent size. But uh, first time I've done it panfish style like this. But uh, hey, that's really good. I really like it. I actually will keep this fish more often. The only problem with that is they're also a really good bait. Mahara this size is awesome redfish bait and snook bait. It's excellent. Man, that's really good. That is a really good fish, guys. I mean, if you guys are out there just fishing for food, you're fishing for your dinner, you don't have a boat, you're just fishing from a local pier or a local dock, and you catch some Maharas, you need to add that to your table fare because that is a really good fish. That is a very good eating fish. Especially this way, it's awesome. I'll definitely eat that again. That was really good. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys like this new series that I'm starting. And please, in the comments section, go ahead and put it. If there's a fish you want me to try, a panfish that you eat during, in a salt water, a pinfish, a spot, whatever it is, if it's something you'd like to see in this series, go ahead and leave it in the comment. And I'll gladly give it a try if I'm lucky enough to catch one. And uh, basically this series is just to show some highlight on some fish that people don't even think about. I mean, most people when they're out there saltwater fishing, they're after the redfish, the snook, the trout, the snappers, flounder, sheep's head, stuff like that. And they don't even think about these smaller little tasty fish. In freshwater, everybody knows about the panfish. I mean, that's one of the big draws of freshwater is your bluegills, your crappie, your warmouth. But we have the same kind of fish in saltwater. So I hope you guys give it a try. I hope you guys like this series. Please shoot a comment. Let me know if you want me to keep up with this series, if you think this is a good idea. If you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, until I get to see you guys soon here on the water, timelines, Jody Rockers. Hey, Jody Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jody Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Or check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jody Rockers.